I'm recording this in uh, 2K for the first time, and it's eating at megabytes, so let's see how this works out. I usually record in 1080p, but anyway. I, uh, obviously you can tell that I'm a Lacey Sturm fan, so I got this shirt probably like, I think, a year ago, and, uh, back then I didn't know she was creating different music, so I got, like, pretty much the only shirt that was available, and it was really clear, and over the top, over time it's just, uh, gotten blurry and faded out and the words have uh, gotten blurry and a little bit faded too but even though I noticed the picture was fading out I could still tell like what it was so it looks actually reasonably better on camera than it does in real life it looks sharper on camera so anyways like I uh, noticed a hole here and I was like, oh, well, that's a little hole. It's grown a bit bigger with each each wash. So I'm just going to, uh, since I don't like the uh, brand new shirt she came out with, with the horizontal red and black stripes, then I'm going to uh, buy this shirt because I couldn't find the black shirt that had Lacey Sturm on it and then the chorus to her song Impossible. So I decided to buy another copy of this exact same shirt. And I got that, and then the, uh, it came in the mail just a few minutes ago. And I was shocked at the degradation of image quality on this shirt. Because when I looked at the new shirt, but bam That is so sharp and colorful. It almost looks photorealistic. Like, it's, this is not a painting, it, it is based on a photo. But because of the uh, shirt making process, it looks like a painting. I mean, just look at like the details of, of the words, like how crisp and thin the lines are. And over here, how thin the edges of each letter is. And I look at this one, which is all blurred out. The paint is, color is fading. You could barely kind of make out the letters kind of like fading so much that it's kind of breaking up, like with this E right here. And over here it's super sharp. And like over here, it looks a lot better on camera, but in real life you can kind of barely tell it's a person. I angled the camera down a little bit so that I can see her over the camera rather than through it. And then over here it's just super photorealistic. And it looks like an airbrush painting. But it's in fact an actual photograph that's been... Uh, that this, the photograph has been digitally printed onto the shirt. Now, when you get up close, you can see, apparently, that it's like a low quality image on a t-shirt. And then up close here, it's like, what's going on? But when you get back, you can, like from a normal viewer's perspective, you can kind of see that, like, obviously it's a girl with her hand up. And it it's, looks okay. It looks pretty good, but then you look at the brand new one, and it's like, bam! I'm just still impressed with how much quality of image has gone away with the wear and tear in each washing. I forgot how clear and crisp it was. If any of you know where I can get a brand new Lacey Sturm shirt, the uh, black one with the uh, Impossible Chorus lyrics on it, then uh, let me know.